Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my boxy charm to share with you guys. So let's just jump straight into it. So it looks like this one's theme is life of the party. So interesting. Okay, so for this box, I'm just going to go over all the products and then use them all at the end. So I think that'll make things a little bit easier. So the first item that I see in this box is this guy right here. This is the Party Animal Palette by Laura Lee Los Angeles. Oh my gosh. These shadows, I don't think they're coming off on screen, like how vibrant they are in person. Wow. Okay, so, wow. Let's swatch them. The purple one was kind of weird, but let's see. Them swatched. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know how they're swatching. They're not, they're not swatching so great. Let's see. Maybe on the eyes it'll look better, but let's swatch the other two. They swatch on the fingers really well. But, oh, wow, that one was pretty. So those are the colors. I don't know about the swatches, but hopefully on the eyes it'll look good. But... We'll set this off to the side. The next item in the box is this guy right here. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Ooh. Oh, there's like a sheen to it. Okay, we shall try that out as well. Super excited about this. The next item in, oh, items in the box. <laughs> um, there's three of them. And these are by Wonder Beauty. They are the Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. It says, innovative gold foil retains maximum hydration. So I cannot wait to try these out. Um, I will leave in the description box below once I do try them out, like my little review. But for right now, I'm going to put them in my drawer full of masks <laughs> and I will let you guys know what I think of these. What is this? Okay, let's do this guy. So this is the NCLA Los Angeles Treatment So Rich Vitamin E Infused Cuticle Oil. And I remember a while ago getting the same exact thing, but I don't know, that one was like a different, it was like a yellow, I don't know. Mmm, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's like cookies, sugar cookies. Let's see. Oh, so rich lollipop. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. So this is so great because in my Ipsy bag, um, I actually got a nail polish. If you guys haven't watched my Ipsy bag, I will link that down below so you guys can go check it out. But yeah, how perfect. Uh, the next item is by Bang Beauty, and we have received this brand before. Um, it is their chocolate eyeliner, so I'm assuming it's brown. That is what it looks like. Mm. That was a horrible swatch, let's see. Mm, I don't feel like I would ever use this as an eyeliner. I don't know. I feel like if it was like a richer brown, then I probably would, but this is like a very cool tone brown. Use it as an eyeliner, eyeshadow base, or even to touch up your brows. So maybe I can try it out on my brows. Um, yeah, I would never try this as an eyeliner and probably not as an eyeshadow base with these colors because I really want to try these um, eyeshadows out for you guys, but let me just try it out as like a bra pomade or bra. A brow prom pomade? Oh my gosh, I can't. A brow pomade. <laughs> oh, it's early, guys. It's early. This is so, I don't know. It's not as creamy as I want it to be. There's like little chunks.
it is quite thick so it kind of feels a little heavy on the brows this is a bit chunky but if you warm it up on the back of your hand first before applying it to your brows it kind of smooths out a little bit this was not bad it could be worse but it, it still wouldn't be my go-to to fill in my brows I'm kind of on the fence I really wanted to like it but mm. You know, I could I could do without it. The final item in the box is this little guy. This is from Smashbox, and it's their B Legendary Liquid Pigment. This is in the shade Crush It. Hopefully, it's a pretty color. Let's see. This is a very berry tone. Yeah, and it's like a lip gloss. This reminded me of these NYX butter glosses. Um, they just feel the same, you know? Oh yeah, they definitely feel the same. But we'll see how they feel on the lips. So let's try all of these items out and I will tell you how I feel about them at the end. Okay, so um, I did try out all of the products as you just saw. Um, this primer I really like. I mean, it created a kind of like a luminosity. I'm not wearing any highlight or anything, so whatever sheen you see is from this um, primer. So, so far so good. I really like this. Okay, so I gotta be honest with you guys. This eyeshadow palette was quite a disappointment. These eyeshadows. I do understand that neon shades are very hard to create, um, especially shades as bright as this one. I wish you could see this in, in person, but I did end up using five out of the six shadows, so I did get a pretty good feel for the eyeshadow palette. They are super beautiful. I love the colors. They're so just vibrant and pretty, but on the eyes, they were just so chalky and powdery. When I went back to like blend everything out, it would just literally just fall off. This palette totally reminded me of a condensed version of my Urban Decay Electric palette. So this is the Laura Lee shade. And this is the Urban Decay shade. So this is Issa Party. And this is Thrash from Urban Decay. And I don't know. I mean, they're not the exact same, but they're similar. And you can feel the difference in the eyeshadows. This Urban Decay Electric palette isn't the best, but it's still not as chalky as the Laura Lee one. And I tried wetting these eyeshadows. These can't be used wet because that just kind of picked up whatever eyeshadow I had already on the eye and it just be became a mess pretty much so 
Um, you kind of have to really pat the eyeshadow down, which is why I use like the flat shader brush. Um, because you can't really blend. If you try blending, then it just all falls off. So use like a flat shader brush or your finger and that's how you can get the most pigmentation. But still, I don't know. I, I was expecting more, you know, because I've seen this eyeshadow palette hyped up and I guess it was hyped up for the color and not really the eyeshadow payoff. I wasn't impressed, unfortunately. But again, the colors are just so beautiful. So, I mean, I'll try and make it work. I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more, see if I can get it to work a little bit better. Um, hopefully there's like a better eyeshadow base out there. I've been wanting to try the P. Louise sticky eyeshadow base, so... <sighs> but that is my thought on this eyeshadow palette. Lastly is the Smashbox lip pigment. I really like this actually. I was not expecting to like this. Um, I do like the NYX butter glosses, but they do feel quite thick. This is not as thick, but it still has like a similar look. This is not transfer proof, but I really like the color. I probably wouldn't pair this lip with this eye, but it's such a beautiful fall color, like a berry for the fall. So yeah, I really like this. This month's box wasn't horrible. Um, I've had better boxes, of course, but... Mm, I don't know, it was okay. This month's box was okay. I guess I have such high expectations from BoxyCharm because they usually like kill it every month, but I don't know. I think I'm mainly bummed out about the eyeshadow palette. I was looking forward to the eyeshadow palette. I saw like sneak peeks and stuff, you know, regarding this palette. So I was really excited, but <sighs> this was like such a downer. <laughs> So my favorite items in this month's box have got to be this uh, cuticle oil from NCLA and I also like this Becca primer and the Smashbox lip pigment. So these were actually really really great. So the total for this month's box is actually $114. So considering that, this box wasn't as huge of a disappointment, but still I have had better. That's all I'm saying. Alright guys, so that's it for my BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!